Hello everybody, this is Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. Happy Tuesday! And it's getting a little cold here in the Pacific Northwest. Means it's fingerless glove weather and hoodies. So I'm happy because I'm all warm and snuggly. Anyway, uh, as those of you who watched yesterday's show will know, we've had a little bit of a family crisis um, involving hospitalisation of a family member. And so that's taken up quite a bit of my time in the last several weeks, actually. I've not kind of let on until just recently. Um, but that's why the Transport Evolve content has kind of dropped off a cliff. I'm sorry. We're doing our best to bring that up. At the moment, Transport Evolved is just me. Uh, we've got a few people who are offering articles and helping out, but it's pretty much just me. Um, even the TEN, Transport Evolved News Show, people think that I have a studio and there's lots of people who help edit and film it. It's just me. I write the script, I put the green screen up, get the studio ready and the lights, I film it. Sometimes I screw up the filming and I have to go back and do it again. Um, then I edit it, pull in all the B-roll and everything else and push it up to the YouTubes, um, which is sometimes why, you know, it gets delayed because if I get delayed, then it gets delayed. I do my best. Um, and your donations at patreon.com forward slash transport evolved help a great deal because um, that not only helps ensure that we've got enough money here uh, for my income, but it also means eventually that I'll be able to start paying somebody else to do the editing stuff, which means more content, yay, etc. Anyway, Thank you for all your good comments yesterday um, on uh, yesterday's thought of the day. Some really interesting thoughts there. What I want to talk to you about today, however, is obsolescence in the electric vehicle world. So um, I was watching, I was browsing Facebook this morning and one of the Nissan Leaf owner groups, somebody posted a picture of their original Nissan Leaf down, I think it had done 86,000 miles and it was down to its last four uh, capacity bars, which means, you know, it was doing about 40 miles on a full charge. Um, and it got me thinking, with the Chevrolet Bolt EV announced and priced yesterday, um, and the Tesla Model 3 coming, the long range Nissan Leaf, you know, and every, pretty much every automaker lining up to introduce a slightly longer range version of existing electric vehicles or launch new longer range electric vehicles. The idea of an electric car that can only do 80 to 100 miles has changed quite considerably. Six years ago, when these cars were coming to market for the first time, we were really excited about 100 miles of range. Today, we're like, mm, maybe not. And those cars, those original cars that have got older, unless they've got a battery replacement, uh, Nissan offers a battery replacement for the Leaf, I know that BMW does as well for its i3, unless they've had those battery replacements, if the capacity has started to really drop, the question then becomes, what happens to those cars? What can they be used for? Um, and it got me thinking, you know, essentially I have a, an older um, electric vehicle in my fleet, my personal fleet. It's part of the Transport Evolved fleet. I have a 2002 RAV4 EV. Now, as those who watch this channel regularly will know, it's recently been sent off for a new battery pack because its battery pack had died. Um, and it was its second battery pack. The first battery pack lasted 10 years. And the second battery pack, something went wrong with one of the cells, which basically brought the rest of the pack to its knees, nearly set the car on fire. And um, so the new pack is a really good one and it should last another 10, maybe more years because the car used to be in a hot place and now it's moved to Portland. So hopefully, fingers crossed. But it's got me thinking because my car can't travel more than 80 miles and it can't travel more than a radius of 40 miles of my home unless I take a charging uh, adapter with me that can use the old uh, inductive charging stations, which there are none here publicly in the Pacific Northwest. Um, and that's quite a rigmarole. So effectively, my car has a 40 mile radius of this house if I want to use it in a sensible way. And that got me thinking a little bit about these older, uh, obsolete electric cars or cars that are heading into obsolescence because their battery packs are getting a bit tired. Their range is not what it was once. And I'm wondering what those cars are going to be useful for. Now, some people would say, well, yeah, you just recycle the cars and move on. It's electric cars are much more like consumer gadgets, you know, you, you recycle your old gadgets, your old phones. I mean, I've got an old iPad over there that I use as a teleprompter for Transport Evolved. You know, I've got old computers. I've got one right here. It's like a four-year-old Mac, uh, sorry, 
eight-year-old Mac that I still use for something other than what I originally planned to use it for. Now, in the same way, we could reuse old electric cars like the first generation Nissan Leaf as those runabout town uh, errand cars. Um, but I think they'd be good actually for kids. And here's the reason. Um, these early cars still have telematic systems at work, at least for now. Um, they've got a limited range. And so, you know, you can give one to your kid and let your children use them um, to experience their first car, to drive around in. They're not overly powerful. They're not going to get into a huge amount of trouble with them. And as long as they stay within, you know, the 40 mile radius of your home or the, the 20 mile radius or whatever the combined range is of your car, then they're going to, it's going to meet all their needs. Now, if you think about this, you know, high school students who want to drive, generally their school is probably between five and 10 miles from the house. They're going to want to come home at the end of the day and they've got homework and whatever. They might want to go out and hang out with their friends at night. So they've got that limited range need. But I want to know if you have any other thoughts, any other ideas for long, um, for extending the life of these older electric cars. What would you like to use them for? Because battery replacements aren't an option in some cases and they're un uneconomical in others. So tell me what you think in the comments below um, and I will look through them and talk to you tomorrow. Until then, keep evolving.